In my quest to find the perfect swirling paint, I came across these custom shop automotive paints from TCP Global. It's a urethane based paint. It's already pre-mixed in these nice 4 ounce bottles. It's also already reduced, so all you gotta do is drop it in a sprayer and spray it on. It does smell pretty strong. These are a little bit toxic. You gotta be careful with these. Make sure you're wearing your mask. Had some pretty good luck putting this comp competitive orange on this Cypress guitar body. The paint is a little bit finicky, so you got to be real careful. This wood has a lot of grain lines running through it, so you, there's some bumpiness too. So the, the wood's actually got to be perfect to use these paints. Tried to swirl with these paints and actually didn't have much luck. You can see as I drop the paints into the water here, they actually fall through. You know, I've got the borax in here and the temperature at about 78 degrees. The paint then also skins over, so as you try to dip something, it doesn't work very well. So next I decided to use this Prevail spray system on a old Wormuth Swamp Ash guitar body that I've got. And even though these Prevail systems tend to spit sometimes, I actually got really good results using this to actually spray this body. Put on about three coats, you know, in a short time here and the paint stuck well and really looks awesome. I actually think this is the, the Notre Dame gold helmet color that they use because the, the paint actually dried relatively quickly and actually looks pretty good. You know, sat well on the piece of wood. The wood wasn't prepped all that great, but still looked pretty good. The key here when using this paint is to use a grain filler, sand everything smooth, make sure it's all the imperfections are out of the wood and you can get a really nice clean surface but it, it does show anything, any nicks or scratches so you gotta be careful. You know, In terms of cost this stuff is relatively cheap you know, it's about eight dollars a bottle for a four ounce bottle, it's already ready to mix so you can just spray it right on. You know, This cleans up with acetone so you don't need a, a special cleaner, you just gotta take care of your equipment properly with this stuff and uh, one thing you want to be careful of is the colors may bleed with certain types of clear coats that you put on it. You want to make sure that you use a mist coat when you're putting a, a final finish on that way you, know, you kind of seal the colors in and then before you go really thick uh, you've already got a, a coat that, that's sitting on and will seal that, that color in. Overall some really cool paints, really happy with them. It's a great option with some really crazy colors here.